Zarathustra's Dedication 3, Yasna 34, Commentary. Zarathustra's total dedication to Ahura Mazda in thought, word, and deed, as expressed in the last verse of the previous chapter, is taken up in the opening verse of Yasna 34. The reward of this dedication is that Ahura Mazda blesses each individual with immortality, truth, and sovereignty, which flows from perfection. Yasna 34.1 not only should everyone dedicate himself, herself, to her Mazda, but all material wealth is to be offered through prayer to her Mazda. Thus, no individual can claim anything as his own. His person and his belongings are her Mazda's forever. The next verse explains why fire is held sacred by all believers. This is not physical fire, but her Mazda's fire, mighty through truth, given to the believer for his support, as for those who encourage destruction. This mental fire will scorch them with just a turn of the hand. Yasna 34.4 Here again as in Yasna 33.6 we get a glimpse of Zarathustra's personal attitude to life. He identifies himself with the Drigu, the poor, <clears throat> and the downtrodden, who have dared to praise Ahura Mazda above all other divinities in the presence of the false gods and brutish men. Yasna 34.5 But he rails bitterly against those who were once initiates, but who turn away from his teachings to inflict pain and torture on his followers. Yasna 34.7 He next explains how the divine powers interact with each other and with the two warring parties. Yasna 34.8-10 Ahura Mazda is their mover of hatred among those hostile to him. Yasna 34.11 the path of the good mind is the religion of the saviors, the Sayoshans, who will work towards their renewal of existence, the Fresh El Kareti, Yasna 34.13. In the next verse, a typically Zoroastrian idea is expressed. That of the Hamkar, or fellow worker, her Mazda invites everyone to place his hand in the hand of the divine and together they will bring forth the Frasha Kredi through the word Hamkar is not found in this verse, Yasna 34.14. It is there by implication. The last verse is the only one in the entire Gataz which the devout are requested to repeat four times to impress upon themselves. The need to collaborate with Ahura Mazda for fulfillment of the entire creation, Yasna 34.15. Thus ends the first gata, the gata of Hunaveti, the gata of free choice.